Matter of fact, before we go in. Watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Sister, we're going to read uh, just a few scriptures yes. for you, all right? We were all just to help you out. under the curse of the law, which because is death. Who, who brought death. grace to the nation of Israel? That's my question. Grace? Grace. grace. Who brought grace to the nation of Israel? Well, grace was from the beginning. Right. Who brought it to the nation of Israel? It was from the beginning, and it was to who in the beginning? The Israelites, it was right? To the Israelites. Right. It was through, I, through, through I, uh, uh, Adam down to Noah through Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, you understand? To Israel, the nation of Israel. That's who we are today, the people you see on that side. All right? And grace came, the grace that you're speaking of came by who? Grace came, it was a gift from God. From who? How did he give that gift to us? He gave us the grace that came. It was in the beginning, but he gave it to us through, through his son. Thank you. Okay. Let's, let's read the Bible. All right? Listen. Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. Right on. For the grace of God. The what? The grace of God. So the grace of God, right? Yes. Is what we're talking about. Yes. Come on. That bringeth salvation. It brings what? Yes. Bringeth salvation. Come on. Hath appeared to all men. Appeared to who? All men. The Israelites. You understand? Come on. Teaching us. Teaching who? Teaching us. Right? The Israelites. Right? Come on. That. Denying ungodliness. Doing what? Denying ungodliness. So grace should teach you to deny ungodliness. That's right. How do you do that? How do you deny ungodliness? How do you do that? If if I am ungodly, what do I do to get myself right? How do I deny? Uh, there has to be something that tells me that I'm doing something wrong. Right. And there has to be something telling me to do it this way. No. Right? There's a difference. You have to have your prophets. That no come the from prophets God. need to do what? The brothers, they just went over it with you. They yeah. have to teach you the law. Teach you. So you cannot separate the law from grace. Right. They go hand in hand. Right. Because we just read that grace does what? Teaching us that denying ungodliness. Grace teaches you to deny ungodliness. You understand? Yeah, but when I talk about the law and grace, grace to me is a symbol of forgiveness. The law did not forgive you. The I, law condemned you. We, do you believe the Bible? Yes, I do. All right, we just read out of the so Bible. The grace and law has to reconcile some way. They do. And we just read that grace teaches you to do what? Grace teaches you how to deny what? Deny ungodliness. Thank you. All right, listen. Listen okay. to the Bible. 
the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 41, verse 8. Woe be unto you. What does woe mean? It means destruction. Come on. Woe be unto you, ungodly men. What type of men? Ungodly men. So destruction to ungodly men, right? How do you know a godly man from an ungodly man? There has to be a difference, right? Come on. Which have forsaken. Which have done what? Forsaken the law. The what? The law. The what? The law. So ungodly men have done what? Read it again. Woe be unto you, ungodly men, which have forsaken the law. Ungodly men have done what? They've done what? They've forsaken the law. That means they're not keeping it. They said they don't have to. Not just men, but women too. The whole nation of Israel. That's why we're in slavery today. That's what the brothers was bringing out. This whole time has been about woe to ungodly men. We're in these conditions right now because we've forsaken the law of God. Right. Well, the ungodly men, the first sign that you recognize is because they tell lies against the truth. That Right, and one of those lies is that we don't have to keep God's laws. Yes, you understand? Right. That's one of those lies. That's a lie that we've been taught by our oppressors and now we regurgitate it to each other. I, I you understand? Wasn't, wasn't That's why it's okay that. for a white man to come in your neighborhood and start selling drugs. You understand? That. It's okay for that. But if it was a black man in your neighborhood selling drugs, everybody be calling the police. Right. Everybody be trying to get him locked up. And you would too. But because it's a white man, you understand? You don't want to talk to the police. You don't want to tell them nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Whoa to the ungodly because they forsaken the law the bible teaches us to not follow multitudes to do evil that's a law right. you understand when you keep that law you become godly right. you understand what i'm saying there has to be something that makes a difference between the godly and between the ungodly that's right. back, back to the, titus the chapter two about the law and this law of grace when Christ came in and he was talking about the, the law of grace speaks like this. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Hold on. We're going to read That's this for you out the Bible. About. We ain't finished reading the scripture, all right? Okay. Titus chapter 2. Read it from the top. Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. So this is Jesus Christ. He's appeared to the Israelites. Correct? Come on. Teaching us. That denying ungodliness. So in this grace period, what are you supposed to do? Denying ungodliness. All right. So if you're married, you understand? You're married. I'm married. Right? Can, I, can we have sexual relations? Yeah. We can? I can step outside my marriage and have sex with you? No. no. Why? Because it's ungodly. Oh, how do you know that? Because it's true. But how do you know it's ungodly? because of the law. Exactly, and that's what we're supposed to do during this grace period. We're supposed to deny ungodliness. This right. grace period is for us to, to, to not say the law is done away with. Right. We don't need to keep the law anymore. This grace period is for us to learn the law Jeez. and to apply the law in hopes that when Christ returns again, we're keeping the law. You understand right. what I'm saying? All right. Is that when I look at Christ and the grace that He's given us, which comes from God, and He gave an example of how grace and the law have to reconcile. We're, we're the reading woman, the example the, right the, now. The, 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 well, no, hold on. The woman, we're reading the example right caught, now. There was a woman caught in adultery. All right, we'll read that too. Okay. We'll read that too. Okay. We'll read it too for you. Okay. All right, and we're gonna find out what He said to her. Okay. Or right. if you'll stay and pay attention. But I before will. we do, we want to finish this scripture. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Titus 2 and 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness. We do that, right? By keeping God's law. Everybody agree with that. Come on. And worldly lust. What do we need to deny? Worldly lust. Right, because a lust within me would tell me that it's okay for me to break to step outside of my marriage. You understand what I'm saying? That, that A lust would tell me to do that, but a law would tell me that's not okay. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Read. We should live soberly. Live how? Soberly. Come on. Righteously. Live how? Righteously. Live how? Righteously. The Bible tell, tells us to live righteously. How do I do that? How do I live righteous? Something has to tell me that if I'm doing this, I'm righteous, and if I'm doing that, I'm unrighteous. Something has to tell you that. Otherwise, you wouldn't know. 
There's a difference in how I walk, how I live, how I speak, how I deal with my kids, right. the things that I eat, you understand, the holidays that I celebrate. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, all I'm saying is to get people to that point, right. you have to, you have to keep the break, laws to get people to that point. To right. That's what we're going to read. Right. To, to get to that point, listen, out. in order to get to that point, you have to keep the laws. But that's that's all you have to do. Don't make it more complicated than what it is. All right. All you got to do is keep the commandments. That's it. That's all you got to do. Hold on. We're not condemning anyone out here. What we're doing, we're teaching the laws. I'm saying, sister, how you live in your life is wrong. You need to change and you live it this way. That's not condemning you. That's saving you from the condemnation to come. You understand? That's what that is. Hold on. Listen to this scripture. It's going to tell you. The, the scripture we're about to read is going to tell you how to be righteous, but right? But we're, we're going to go there. Okay. We're going to read that. All right. Gonna we're going to get there. I, I want you to stay with me, though. All right. You going to stay with me? I'm gonna stay with you. All right. So now what we're about to read is righteousness. All right. And what righteousness is according to the Bible, because grace teaches us to be righteous, does it not? Grace should teach us to be righteous, should it not? That's my question. Go back to where we were okay. in Titus. Okay, then what, All right? what's righteousness? Hold, hold on. What is righteousness? We, we haven't read it yet. Okay. But I, I want you to stay with me because grace should teach you to be righteous, right? Yes. Correct? All right, we don't need to read it. Go to Deuteronomy. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. Come on. And it shall be our righteousness. So this right here, what we're about to read, will be our righteousness. You understand? It will make us righteous, right? That's what we just read. Read it again. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do. To do what? To do. No, just to know it. To observe to do. To do? To do. All these commandments. All these what? These commandments. So me doing the commandments is going to make me what? Read it again from the top. And it no. shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. So if I... Do the commandments, what is it going to make me? What was it, brother? This ain't difficult. It's not difficult. Don't make it more difficult than what it is. We just read out the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? To, for, for, for you to be righteous, right? For this to be your righteousness, you understand? You have to do it. He can't do it for me. He can't do it for me. For it to be mine, then I have to do what it says. You understand? If the Bible says thou shalt not steal, right? Thou sh how would you like it if I stole from you? I wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it, right? So there would need to be something to tell me not to steal, right? And me obeying that is going to make me righteous. If I don't obey that law, how am I righteous? I'm not righteous if I don't obey that law. If a person has to steal because they're starving, is he, he might be wrong, but he had to feed himself because he, he didn't have any way. All right, way. from there, That's go why to Jesus First John chapter four. made a way for people that have to do things that's not right. First he John, made a way that we can come out of that because sometimes we're in situations where we can't wrong. Nevertheless, you're in sin. The right. Regardless of your circumstances. That's what I'm saying. We all in Re sin. Hold on. Regardless right. of your circumstances, right? Right. Regardless of your circumstances, if you break one of God's laws, what did you just do? I broke his law. What did you just do if I you broke, broke the law? What did you what does God call that? I transgressed the law. What does God call that? That's a sin. Right. So if you break God's laws, regardless of what your circumstances are, you're still in the midst of sin. Right. And you need to do what? I need to pray for forgiveness. Alright, you need to do that. What else do you need to do? Change. I have to Thank re you. Repentance Thank is, you. Repentance should I should I continue to steal? Yes. No. Right. No. Uh, Ephesians no. chapter, hold that. Ephesians no. chapter four, five, no. twenty-eight. No. Right. Hold that. Hold that. Because if 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 my circumstances had me in a situation, or yes. if it had me in a position that caused me to break God's laws, yes. does that mean that I didn't commit a sin? No. I still sin, right? No. And I need yes. to pray to God and ask for forgiveness. Yes. Should I continue to break those laws? No. Right. That's what the Bible says. Read what you got. I, I, I Ephesians it. chapter four, verse twenty-eight. Right Let him that stole. Steal no more. The Bible tells you you used to be a thief. Regardless of your circumstances, right? Don't do that anymore. Right. Read. But rather, let him labor, working with his hands. Let him do what? Labor. Let him get a job. Bring it out. You understand? Work, right? Make a living. Do something. Right. You understand? 
Should he just go to the Lord and pray and ask for forgiveness, or should he fill out a job application? Right, right. What should he do? Right. He, should do both. he should do both. That's the same. That's that's what. This is grace. Yes. This is what grace will teach you. Grace will teach you to ask for forgiveness and then go apply for a job. It it's not going to tell you to ask for forgiveness and then go steal again. That don't make sense. Yeah, that does not make sense. That's, this is exactly what we're saying. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.